I'm Bridget. And I'm Kristen. And welcome to this month's edition of the Social Media Recap, where we discuss all the things happening in the world of social media. Here's the good, the bad, and the ugly that happened in October. After reviewing the social media updates from October, we noticed that several platforms were focusing on expanding their capabilities. Snapchat made the news recently as they added new lens options, expanding their creative potential. My personal favorite is segmentation, where the user is given the option to select a specific part of their image to alter, such as changing hair color, adding a new background, adding something in the sky, or even changing what's on the person's head. Pinterest furthered their e-commerce potential this month with the updates they made to their product pins. Now users will be able to see a shopping tag indicating it's a product pin and price information as well as whether or not the product is in stock, all from the pin itself. This month there were significant changes to video usage on social media. Similar to Instagram Stories, Facebook is running a new test to enable the ability to use video polls in their ads. This option enables viewers to interact with the ads in hopes to boost engagement. Advertisers using Twitter's in-stream video ads will now be able to reach a global audience with their new ad content, as opposed to just the restricted regional content that was used before. Social media platforms also focused a great deal on expanding their functionality this month. Facebook created the new ad measurement tool, Facebook Attribution. This dashboard allows advertisers a more complete picture of the customer journey, allowing them to make more informed business decisions. LinkedIn made another effort for engagement this month when they tweaked their feed algorithm. Previously, only top contributors were being displayed on people's timelines. This led to a drop in engagement from everyday users. In order to counteract that, LinkedIn tweaked the feed in order for everyday users' comments to be shown, as well as their likes and shares. Social media platforms are always looking for new ways to get their community involved and increase the user experience. Here are a couple examples. Facebook is taking action to crack down on stolen and misuse of information. One way that they're planning to halt the spread of political misinformation is by updating the newsfeed algorithm. The plan is to demote links to sites that republish and redistribute content without permission. Instagram is also improving their com community involvement by launching the name tag function. This is similar to Snap codes for Snapchat and Messenger codes on Facebook Messenger by allowing you to scan another user's code via the Instagram camera. This brings up the preview of the profile and gives you the access to quickly link to their profile. So that's it for October. Be sure to follow us on our many social media platforms, links below, so you always stay in the know and never miss an exciting episode. Thank you.